Is buying a house in Fort Walton Beach a good decision? In this video, we're gonna go over and explore exactly that. What it's like living in Fort Walton Beach, what the housing prices are, what type of housing are you after, and so much more. I've got 10 points that you're gonna want to know prior to deciding whether to purchase a house or move to the Fort Walton Beach area. So stick around. What's up everybody? This is Tim Whittemore here in the beautiful Destin, Fort Walton Beach area right here on the Emerald Coast. That's right, if you're looking for any place between Gulf Breeze, Pensacola to Panama City Beach and all around, you're in the right place. If this is the first time to our channel, we do tons and tons of videos about everything you need to know about this area. So it's never too early to reach out to us if you're looking to move here, invest here, or purchase a home, we've got your back. So give us a call, text, email, whatever you gotta do. We got you back when moving here to our area. All right, so let's get in and start talking about Fort Walton Beach, all right? I love Fort Walton Beach. It's where my family and I are at. Reason being is it's in the middle of everything, all right? So Fort Walton Beach is, if you're looking at a map and you've come down to this area, you know where Destin is. Well, it's just to the west of it. It is where most people fly into, which is that Eglin Air Force Base or Destin Fort Walton Beach Airport, VPS. In that area is the Fort Walton Beach area. Now, this is a population of about 20,920, according to the last census. And Fort Walton Beach, what's it known for? Well, if you ask me and you don't ask the internet, I'm going to say it's known for the Eglin Air Force Base infrastructure. <laughs> I'm just going to say that because I'm a 14-year veteran of the Air Force, and that's how I discovered this area. Originally from New York, don't hold that against me. That's where I discovered this area was from that. Now, it has built itself out, but it has been from that infrastructure that it has really grown and, you know, of course, Destin coming out as a destination spot, <laughs> pun intended. Now people get to kind of flow through here and it's kind of been secondary to that area. And of course, 30A and Miramar and all the rest, right? That luxury area. Fort Walton Beach, what it's known for is that white sand beaches, specifically on Okaloosa Island, which is part of Fort Walton Beach. It's got nine miles of untouched white sand beaches. So if you just want to go for a stroll and not see somebody for a while, that's going to be a good place for you to go. Also, Fort Walton Beach has a lot of housing and access to Choctahatchee Bay. I think I'm saying that wrong, which I think I have for, I don't know, the last decade. So we call it Choctaw Bay. One of my aspirations for my family and I is to get a place on there because it's absolutely gorgeous to look into that bay and see the sunrise, right? This area is also very family friendly. There's golf cart access around these different places. It is home to the golf Golfarium. So basically a wannabe sea world. <laughs> Got pretty good nightlife in Fort Walton Beach. It's not as good as Destin, but then again, that's the tourist town. And there's really good restaurants and shops all throughout this area. I could do a whole video on that. So if you want me to do that, you know, leave it in the comments comments below. All right, so let's get into the 10 things that we love about moving to Fort Walton Beach and why you should consider purchasing a home here. Now, first is location, location, location. <laughs> I had to say it three times, just because it's that important. If you are somebody that is transiting the area and has to or wants to travel to different parts of the Emerald Coast, Fort Walton Beach is a nice central hub. Why? It's because of the traffic, because of the different ways that you can get around. Now, I used to live in Dayton, Ohio for a little bit and traveled back and forth when my wife was stationed up there. I loved it because no matter what, you could just get direct to certain places pretty quickly, you know, kind of as the crow flies. When you are someplace that is coastal, you can't do that because there's these big things called bodies of water in the way. So in order to get around these things, you have to go up and around and it just has this traffic infrastructure that just wasn't meant for the amount of people going through it, right? So Fort Walton Beach is nice and centrally located. So if I needed to, I could go up and around to Niceville to get into the other side of Destin or Miramar Beach. Same could be said to get back up and around through Highway 98. Different ways to be able to go through and in Fort Walton, I just don't have one street that I got to go down, I could take multiple routes. You have no idea how awesome that is in this area to have options on how to get somewhere, all right? Number two on this list is the home prices. The home prices here, we're talking about it, and this is a real estate channel. We're gonna talk about this being more of the quote unquote middle of the road. 
all right? What this means is that the single family home price is around 362,900. That's the median for single family homes at Fort Walton Beach. That's a high all the way up to 2.3 mil and a low of 75,000, which was a condo that needed to be rehabbed, so throwing it out there, okay? One of the things that you'll wanna know is that all around this area, this is still the cheaper of the prices. If you go north of Fort Walton Beach into Niceville, the average price for that is pushing past 450,000 for its single family homes. If you head out to the west and you go out to Navarre, it is around the same price from around 425 north, your average single family home. Heading into Destin, Miramar, we're looking at an average single family home out there. The median price is going to be around seven, 800,000 or Miramar Beach the, is around 1.1 million. So we're kind of take a look of like the most affordable place to be in the midst of where you want to be. Fort Walton Beach is where you're at. Now, if you're looking to get into a waterfront residence here, now you're looking at a single family home, waterfront, the median price for that's about 1.1 mil, right? So it's pretty affordable if you're looking to move into the waterfront and you're like, hey, I want to be close to Destin, Miramar or 30A and you look into the Fort Walton Beach area and you're like, oh, shoot. Yeah, this is way more affordable. I get way more house and I still can get access to the things I want to. This is a good place. I actually just had a story of another real estate agent that works out in the 30A area. They're trying to find a home for them. And then sure enough, she comes over here to Fort Walton Beach, which is an area she wasn't necessarily familiar with, got familiar with it, obviously, and was able to sell that person something here because of the price and the difference between 30A and this, right? And just for an example, 30A's median price out there is pushing 3 million. So quite a lot of money. But the high of this is the 2.3 million, like I mentioned before, and low, the lowest you can get on the water was around 410,000. Now that was a rehab, <laughs> needed some work. If you are looking for condos in Fort Walton Beach, you're gonna be looking at condo prices, the median around 385,000, a high all the way up to 1.4 million, and that was the low, which I mentioned before was the 75 thousand dollars now this is towards the mid to end we'll call quarter three <laughs> of 2024 and this was everything i could find in the last year for sales okay there you go okay number three on this list beautiful luxury properties right that has access to the bay i kind of mentioned that before when we first started this video it's one of the more things that people want to aspire to go to if you go to downtown fort walton beach go down where brook street is up by bay and see all the homes that are sitting out there that are in Fort Walton Beach proper that aren't necessarily on the island because that's a whole different thing in itself. I mean, that's where you're going to press your luck there with some of the brilliance of that. But for me, you know, I'm a runner, so I would train for marathons going down that specific area. And you can see the sun coming up. There's a couple of parks out there where you can see sun coming up over the bay. And it's the closest that you're going to get without being on the East Coast to see the sun rising in the morning. So I always would imagine like how amazing that would be to have that property if you're you're anything like me, just enjoying a cup of coffee, morning meditation, whatever that you're fancy, and just enjoy the sun coming up and just have that view. Just absolutely gorgeous. There are so many opportunities with that from Fort Walton Beach all the way up through Shalimar and even into Niceville. The nice part about Fort Walton Beach is its growing infrastructure. So they are replacing the Brooks Bridge, which is that bridge that connects Fort Walton Beach into Okaloosa Island. And because of that, they have to reroute traffic. And with that, they come into a big pool of money and they're revitalizing a lot of different places to include the downtown area. They are updating the parks. They throw free festivals every Friday during the summer, like live music. And you'll see like lots of people kind of congregate in there. We just see all of these different changes coming around, which has been really great for the Fort Walton Beach area. It's gonna be a lot better when it's done, but you know, we're just gonna deal with it for now. <laughs> Number five for buying a place here, there's a lot of movement, okay? There's a lot of movement in this area, and that has a lot to do with people in the military and military support infrastructure, also the tourists as we come in and seasonality, but there's a lot of people moving in and moving out. This is really good for you as a homeowner because at any point, if you wanna sell or you wanna rent out, there's gonna be a higher demand versus other places that you might look. So this is actually a really good opportunity for you if you are purchasing in the area. The other great part is, is it's really stable. We're not really affected like South Florida is when it comes to values of your home. So we have a pretty steady increasing value of home over time. And yeah, we're in 2024. It's election year. The interest rates have been high. So we see a lot of listing prices go down, but the appreciation of values is still continuing up. You can look at the numbers. Don't listen to the rest of the guys on the internet. Listen to me. <laughs> 
I looked at it. <laughs> but we have increasing values that go up. Now, sure, there's gonna be small fluctuations here and there, but overall, we see a gentle increase. Most of the time, people will hold on to an asset here, and as long as you hold on to it for at least two, maybe two and a half years, you'll be able to get out of it without paying any extra money on top of it, which is pretty nice. I know when I was in the military, that was something ideal that I was looking at, so I would have those options. But if I wanted to hold on to it, I had that option as well. Number seven is that traffic flow. There's just better traffic patterns in this area, right? Having options to get around to different places is huge. So much so that I mentioned it twice in this video. <laughs> but you can get around, you have different ways of doing that. And because of that, the traffic's a little bit more spread out and it can handle the amount of people that are in here and traversing through here. The nice part about Fort Walton Beach too is there's places to hide. What I mean by that <laughs> is there's places to hide from the tourists. So if you don't wanna be part of that crowd, you more wanna take away and have your own little private space, there are places that you can do that even on the beach that you can go to get away from all the craziness that ensues from spring until fall when all the families and everything are here. So you can find that separation just in regular Fort Walton Beach. The nice part about this on number nine on this list is we do have a good amount of private schools for your kids. If that's something that you want to go to, they're pretty good charter schools that you'll see. Fort Walton Beach High is actually the second best rated per the internet sources that we're looking at, best rated in our Emerald Coast area outside of Niceville. Now, Niceville High is actually the best one in the entire Northwest Florida area. But if you look at Fort Walton Beach High, it has the best ratings other than that. So there's a lot of different options too for the kiddos and some good educations there. The last thing I'm gonna tell you, one of the cool parts about living in Fort Walton Beach, especially if you're in the actual city of Fort Walton Beach, is golf carts. There's lots of places to get your golf cart going on, right? So like that place I was talking about before, you know, for the bay from Brook Street and the bay and all those other different areas, even up through Gardner, there's a lot of places that allow you to be on a golf cart. And you can take the golf cart and you can go downtown or wherever you need to go. And it's pretty cool because it's not really, really touristy, but you still have that golf cart community without paying a luxury price for it. Like that is so cool to me to live in that sort of laid back sort of atmosphere. It's really, really nice to be able to do that to check out the downtown area, especially since it's now going to have more and more things set up for it. The infrastructure is getting a lot better. The rebuilding, revitalizing things. So if you are purchasing, you know, from 2024 and beyond, there's going to be even more of an attraction to those properties within that area. So there you go. That's all I got for you for buying a house in Fort Walton Beach, whether it's a good decision or not. For me, sounds like a good decision. <laughs> so if you have any questions about anything I mentioned here or something else you wanted to mention, leave it here in the comments below. If you're lucky enough to be on one of our audio sources here, there's going to be a phone number after this recording. Just simply send a text to that number and we'll get back to you. However, if you are looking to move to this area, got some questions, need some help, reach out to myself or my team here. It's never too early to reach out if you do have questions. Give us a call text, email, whatever you gotta do. We got your back when you're moving here to our area. But again, my name is Tim Whittemore here with LPT Realty. We'll see you in our next video. Take care.